the way I see it, if he ain't rocking, he ain't rocking. Today, we gotta go get a prescription for my wife. So, gotta go get my wife a prescription. I wanted to talk to you briefly about how much of an influence grandfather was. He was always there for me, always answering the phone, answering texts, sending me emails. Everything he did to show me that he loved me and cared for me. A couple years ago, unfortunately, he passed away. And that was rough on me because he was literally like a father to me. You know, he was the father because my father was in and out of my life. And I never really had that really strong male figure. Uh, excuse me. All that to say, yesterday, some of you might think this is a little morbid, but yesterday was my grandfather's birthday. And I texted my wife. And I said, hey, can we please get a cake? And wouldn't you know it, this is how me and my wife are so spiritually linked. My wife texted me back and she said, I was literally just looking up cake recipes. Absolutely, I will do that for you. So I worked 12 hour shifts. And when I got home that night, yesterday evening, I walk in. Andrew is saying, Daddy, there's a car upstairs, there's a car upstairs, just being just overly expressive about this car that I know nothing about that's upstairs. So I go on upstairs, and on our dining room table, I see a cake, I see dinner cooked, and I even see pretzel rolls cooked, and cherries. Cherries were my grandfather's favorite fruit. He would eat a whole bag of them if he could cherry on top funny I said that right the cherry on top was that she took a hot wheel stripped the paint off of it with acetone which she uses for nail polish remover used a paint marker to paint the car the color that my grandfather's car was her where did you find that at she said oh I made it I got all the paint stripped off of it and I painted it with a marker it looked legit and I'm actually gonna end up turning it into a keychain for my spare key for my truck it was so thoughtful I I told her thank you I mean at least four or five times just last night alone and I told her again today how much I appreciate her and love her so there's times where I take my wife for granted. I take what she does for me for granted, like cooking dinner, you know, taking care of the kids and all that good stuff. But yesterday made me really appreciate her. We are here. Sorry guys, the uh, pharmacist didn't want me to film them, but I did get the prescription, so. She'll be happy about that. She was like, I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go get it. I was like, no, no, I'll get it. Because I wanna show you my appreciation for you. I know that sounds cheesy. I know, I know, I know, but yeah. To be honest with you guys, when I was growing up, when I was in high school, middle school and high school, I, I swore up and down. I was like, I'm an ugly dude. Ain't no girl gonna wanna be with me. Ain't no way I'm gonna get married. You know, I just, I'm gonna live my life alone, the best I'll have is just my family. But now I have my family, immediate family, my wife and my kids, and then I also have my family, my aunts, my uncles, cousins, and everybody else. It's nice to have that fulfillment of knowing that you're loved and cared for by everybody.
Thank you guys for riding along with me and listening to my sob story, my love story. We'll catch you in the next one. See ya.